did not cut packs. Actually, do it again. One more time. Work. Well, okay, we'll probably. What is going on, my reefing fam? Oh, there's the first PC. This is OG OG. What is going on, my reefing fam? March here. This is Fragbox TV. Okay. Welcome, 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 welcome back to the channel. Welcome me back from Asia. What's going on here? What is happening in the store? How are you guys? What's new? What's happening? How are your corals? Did you water change this week? All of those questions answer in the comments below. I want to know. Okay. Uh, I feel like it's been a minute. We are back from Indonesia. What is going on here in the store? Check this out. Boxes, 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 and boxes. If you don't know, this is Frag Box. This is a television show that follows our uh, coral store here in Toronto and it's very fitting that we're called frag box. Oh, hi Diggs. How's it going? Say hi to everyone. Oh, hi. My name's Diggs. I live here at the store and I like corals. Boxes, boxes, and boxes. We have lots of boxes because we went to Indonesia and we picked all of these corals with this blue hand here. I went like this and I said that one and then I shipped it back and now they're here. Finally, 27 boxes. Just to give you a rough idea, usually when I do one of these unboxing videos, it's like 10, 11, 12. I don't think I've ever brought more than 16. We're looking at a lot more than that. There's a lot here. There's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot, and that's good because we don't have a lot of coral in stock. I haven't bought in a couple months because I knew I was going away, and now we're back, and I'm going to begin unboxing all of this fun stuff, and then I'm gonna do what I always do, kind of walk through and show you beautiful corals that come from the other side of the world, like this strawberry short cake from Australia, or maybe this masterpiece acro. That's pretty cool because it's orange, which is a very strange color to find on Acropora. We don't usually see orange ones. Okay, I'm gonna get into it. I'm going to talk to you a little bit as I go along and tell you how I feel and tell you how my day is going and all that fun stuff and show you the corals and then we'll jump back into it tomorrow and I will show you how they really look because a lot of times when they come out of the box they are stressed. I have a ton of videos from overseas that I am going to begin to work on but there's a lot of content. There's like three weeks worth of content so I have to, it's going to be a little bit more um, manicured than these ones where I just kind of pick up the camera and then start recording on the fly without any script and whatever comes out of my mouth is what you hear in your ears. Okay, I'm talking too much. Let's get into this and see how the corals look. Actually, let's, this is usually, um, I like to do this. Open one, Ugh, get rid of the plastic. And the first piece is usually a nice indication of how it's gonna look. Oh, I just noticed that. Do you guys always do that? What up, Alan, my friend Alan that we met in Indonesia. Is this new? I don't remember seeing that. Okay, anyways, let's get a razor blade. You need one of these. If you're ever gonna get into unboxing corals, this is the tool of the trade. Carpenter uses a hammer, surgeon uses a scalpel, March uses a razor blade. Okay, let's get into this. Let's see, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. It was a great time actually, over in Indonesia. Absolutely loved it, very, very enlightening experience, nice travels, never been to Asia. Very interesting, very humbling, very beautiful, very different, different world than anything I've ever experienced. I've had the pleasure of visiting a lot of countries, but never Asia, so that was really cool. And it was really neat to see where these corals actually come from, because I always said in the videos that I felt a little bit um, disconnected from the corals because I just order on an Excel sheet and I've never actually seen where they're being farmed, where they're being housed, you know, it was, I just felt a little bit kind of lost. So I have this whole new insight and wealth of knowledge that I can't wait to share with you and maybe even throughout this video. Look at this, I love the newspaper, it comes back in. Bali is very spiritual and it's a mix of different religions, um, Hinduism and Buddhism, Christianity and and is Islam and there's just a lot. Oh, it looks like this is an acro box. How can I tell? Because when it's an acro box, goodbye newspaper, there is very few acro, so they pack them with a lot of water. I think it's acro, let's see. Maybe I should check before I open my mouth. Uh, I don't know. Water looks not too bad. Let's pop this sucker open and see how our first corals look. Boom, there's the first piece and it looks beautiful. Water is nice and clear. It is a little bit on the cool side, which we want to see. And this is a stunning piece of Acropora. Let me put them in the water where they belong because corals live underwater. If they didn't, then they would just be plants, I guess. Okay, um, let me try and zoom in on this. Yeah, check it out, that's it. That's why we went to Indonesia. That's why we traveled for a couple days, just to get there. Beautiful, beautiful piece. 
I don't know what the species is. Maybe my friend Alan or someone at the supplier's place can ID it for us. And very nice, like pink, red with yellow tips. And that's a good sign. Very, very good sign. These guys, not the first time I've ordered from them. Many, many times, many orders. And their packaging is probably the best or some of the best that I've seen ever from Indonesia, from any coral supplier actually. So I keep going back, I keep ordering more because they know what they're doing. They pack in a lot of water. So shipping, quite expensive, but good success rate because lots of water, they know what they're doing. Okay, let's take a look at some of the first pieces that are coming out of the boxes here. And these are our flower pots, so these are closed. That's how they look, it's normal, it's actually perfectly healthy. Um, the water that they're coming in is probably the biggest indication. So it's clear and it's not stinky. Some cool chalice corals, this one is really nice. Um, some symphilia and some encrusting gonipora. So we call this Bernardopora, some favia, mushrooms, these trippy discosomas here. I had a huge chalice colony, but it looks like it broke in the bag. So it did a little bit of the work for me. The acro that I'm pulling out look really, really good. So if there's anything that's tricky to ship, um, it's acro and expensive torches, but these look awesome. Look at this. This hasn't even been in the water. I want to say five minutes. It's got the polyps out. You would never tell that this has been in transit for more than a day. The color is really good. Polyps out. Same with this one here. This is some acropora. We call it bonsai. The Latin name is a valida. That's a valida, but that's a really, really good sign. Check out the color. And again, polyps. You see those little hairy things sticking out? That is a very, very good indication of health. And I'm actually quite surprised to see polyps out like that within five minutes. But I'm telling you, these guys absolutely know how to ship. And you know what? Well, look at this, some long tentacle plate coral. I want to try maybe if there's anyone out there, maybe you have a store, maybe you're interested in working with us on a wholesale end. We have a lot of coral this time. Usually it's enough for the Canadian market, but I'm wondering if maybe we can ship some to the States. It won't work if you're just a hobbyist with a regular tank and you're buying one piece. It just won't be feasible. But if you're taking 20 or 30 of them, um, it might actually work in terms of shipping and CITES. So that's something we can look at. Shoot us an email. March was here. Check that out. Okay, we're probably about halfway through and I don't have a single DOA. The acros are looking incredible. Lots of variation on this order. Microclados, Nasuta, uh, Vermiculata. These are the Latin names, not just Millipora and Tenuous. There's, there's a lot of really, really nice pieces here. Uh, I'm gonna keep working through it. Look at this Cinaria. Man, this is just fantastic. Plate coral, Goniopora's. There's a lot, there's a lot, a lot, a lot here. Um, like I said, biggest order I think we've ever brought in. I'm gonna fill up this tank completely and then it's gonna spill over into our acro tank. The lights are out now, sorry. And then we got two more big ones like this actually in the basement. So what you don't see here downstairs um, is our sump and we have some more holding tanks. So all of these tanks actually, I'll show you. I don't think I've ever showed you guys this on the channel. Secret door, ah, oh, what's going on here? Nothing that exciting. It's called plumbing. So the water um, filters downstairs and goes through the floor. And yeah, we have a bunch going on down there. The torch look really good. Lots of funky name torches that I can't keep up with. So we got your dragon fucks and your New York shits and your whatever you want to call them, your holy bales and Christian Christian bales and all that stuff. There's lots of nice torches. That was one thing I learned over when I was traveling is that they don't really keep up with the names um, the way we do. So. They're just nice. They're just beautiful torches. They don't keep up with a lot of the names. They're just, they're just corals and we go by Latin names, which I like, which I'm trying to sort of revert to because I think it's a little bit more useful, but it can be fun also to name them and collect them. So, and you know, if you have a, let's say New York Knicks and you're trading someone or you're buying one online, sometimes the photo will look different and it'll say New York Knicks and you can go, oh, look, Actually, I have that one. Let me not buy that. So it is useful in some sense. Um, let me keep working through this and stop ranting. Oh my God, that took a lot longer than I expected. These tanks are full. I'm gonna give them the evening and then I will pick up the camera tomorrow and show you how they're looking. Lights are off, very tired, very late over here. Um, hang on, go grab, a, go grab a drink or coffee and when you come back, uh, they're gonna be looking very, very different than they are right now. Actually, do it again, one more time. One more time, just pretend. Yeah, that's the thumbnail right there. Boom, okay, perfect. Check these out. Yeah. Uh, freaking amazing. So good. So happy with this order. It was definitely worth going overseas. The tanks are full. I don't think, not I don't think, they have never, ever been this full. This is 
the fullest in however many years of doing this. Check this out, OG bounce mushroom from Indonesia. You wanna talk about OG, real OG? This is the OG OG. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna do a video, I think, just on the acro because I got 120 up here and then I think another 50 downstairs in the basement, all the tenuous, I didn't have room. It's just so, so many to go through. So I think I might break up the videos. I'll do, um, I'll kind of walk through the LPS. I didn't even, I didn't even see these. Look at this, look at this. Amazing stuff. If you see something in the video, you can always screenshot it and shoot us an email if you're interested in some of these, fragboxcorals at gmail.com. The color is just phenomenal. Phenomenal, out of this world. I think two DOAs, two out of uh, 400 and something pieces, maybe more than 400 pieces. This elegance is out of this world. Check this out. It's kind of like a pink tip. Some other nice elegance. These were from another shipment. These are strawberry shortcakes. These are what we call Pikachu. Look at the yellow on that. Okay, I'm gonna do the acro another video. I'm getting carried away. Let me go over here and we'll kind of run through some of the LPS and pick out ones that really, really stand out. The Euphilia looking really good hammers and it's very common now to see hammer sorry uh, bouquets or combos oh hold on look at this elegance black black with yellow tip some chalice so every single one of these pieces was picked by me with my hands over there hand picked corals so there's nothing here that I didn't ship back okay maybe a few a few filler pieces open brain which are getting stung by torch coral if you're new to the hobby, don't do that. Don't let torch, don't do this. Do as I say, don't do as I do. Look at this acanthophilia. I purposefully pick smaller ones because people have smaller tanks and it's tricky sometimes uh, when we get acanthos in, they come in the size of your head. So if you have a small tank, like maybe uh, that over there, the Studio 12 gallon right behind Dylan's pretty arm. Move your arm, Dylan, right there. See that, you got a little tank. Where are you gonna put a big acantho? But if you have a small one or something a little bit more reasonable in size like that, it's easy to enjoy it. So mushrooms are really cool. Check out some of these yumas. Yuma, yuma. I didn't realize how deep some of these corals are found. So I was saying in the last video how, look at this chalice. Oh my goodness. Um, it's tricky to keep a mixed reef because these corals, I didn't realize they're found at such varying depths. So the acro, like the ones in there, you're maybe, you know, six to 10 feet. You're, you, could, you could walk literally and, and pick them the way they're farming it. Some of these torches and LPS and mushrooms, 50, 60, up to 90 meters. We're talking 100 to 200 feet. Huge variation in part levels, in water temperature, in chemistry. So when you try and do a mixed reef, with everything from the ocean and you're struggling and my, you, your corals are dying and you're emailing me stressed out and you don't know why, you're trying to keep things sometimes that are not found side by side, sort of like this. It's you know a little bit tricky. Um, water change is really what we, we recommend here in the store. It's kind of the key to success. But if you have sometimes a coral that's not doing so hot and you're wondering why and all your parameters are, are great, it may just be because it's it's just not it's just not going to happen. It's just not realistic and it's not where it's found in the ocean. Anyways, I'm side I'm getting sidetracked a bit. Look at these zoas. I am a zoa fanatic. It'd be kind of cool to go with some of the staff overseas and do this because I like what I like. So I like mushrooms. I like zoas. I'm going to, my eyes are going to be drawn to stuff that I am biased towards. Stuff that I like. So I'm not going to pick stuff that let's say maybe Tia would pick or that you would pick, or Dylan, or Matt, or Mike, or Jay, or anyone that works here, because we all have different preferences when it comes to corals. I think anyone would pick this Bernardopora because it's just outstanding. What is a Bernardopora? It's the encrusting version of a Ghanipora. So you see these beautiful little ones here? These will grow sort of like, uh, oh, good example here. Like this, exactly like that. Like a little flowing disco ball of amazing coral love. The Bernardopora will encrust, so it doesn't really come out, it doesn't get the tentacles, and it'll rather grow like a, kind of like a Cyphastria, so encrusting over the rock. Check out these Micromusa. I wish they shipped a little bit better, but they're still beautiful, nice lobos, some more long tentacle plates, Lastomusas, these Cynarias. These I've never seen before, the color is not, being captured properly on this camera. Maybe it's time to get a better camera. Another sign arena. Some clove polyps, some funky colors. So I was looking for unusual stuff. Lots and lots of mushrooms. So I like mushrooms. They ship easy. Check out this plate coral. Really cool red. 
very, very nice red. Um, some more cloves. A lot of this is gonna get fragged. Dylan and I will slowly, we're basically doing all the fragging right now. So we're gonna kind of work through it slowly as we have time. This is a blue alveopora. This I hope opens up. This is a stunning pink, red, white centered Ghani that I've never seen before. A lot of corals here I've never seen before. So when you see me do other unboxing videos, there's maybe one or two pieces and like, oh, that's new, I haven't seen that. From going over there, it was every two minutes I was, I was finding stuff that um, I'd never seen or even some species of corals I'd, I'd never seen. And so that was really cool. Check out these chalice. These came pretty nice. Overall, very happy with the health. There were a couple pieces like this, a little bit light in color. I do expect them to come back. This guy's looking pretty rough and this one. So those three, not so hot, but overall, check out this, oh man, crazy chalice. Some nice Monty. I think they go by some fancy names like Homeless Beach Guy or something or, or Butt Scratcher or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Jackie Chet Kung Pao, that's one of them, I think. I don't know. I get lost in the sauce. Uh, check out these mushrooms over here. Super duper healthy. It was, a, it was a really fun trip. It was amazing to go over there and really nice to um, meet the people behind the corals. So, you know, the owners of the companies that I've been ordering from for years and the, the staff that works for them, you know, the people that dive and collect, going out on the boat and, you know, having lunch and just connecting and just meeting the people that actually package this and make it all possible on our end that we've been working with for so long. And I kept saying, like, I feel so disconnected um, from the coral. So that was a really cool experience. Just, just meeting the folks on the other end that make uh, all of this happen on our end. These did not come in on the last shipment, but I just want to show them to you anyways because they're beautiful. Some rock flower anemones. You know what? Let me take you to the basement. I got a couple more tenuous down there I want to show you. And we will uh, we get a little mini basement tour at the same time. What's going on in here? A little bit of overflow and some ghanis we've already started fragging up. Those will become available on the site too. Come with me downstairs because you guys never get to come down there. And we'll go to the haunted basement. The dog is sleeping. I'm a little bit low on energy because I've been here since... <sighs> I don't know what I'm saying. A long time. Okay, we're in the basement. Let's turn off the flow with our magic button and I'll give you a quick glimpse of some of the... Uh, where's the pump? The tenuous that are down here. This is just some more like... I call it holding storage. Coral storage. I don't know if that's the right word. It's our friend Beluga. Unplug. Oh, ho, 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 dummy! I forgot to plug this back in last night. I should be fired. Good thing I own the place. It's kind of hard to fire myself. Okay, let's see what's going on down here. We got some more torches. A little bit of a zoanthid grow out too. Let's check these out. Actually, I've never seen these. I've been kind of hiding them down here. I've been calling them purple kush. And I think I've only released one frag to one customer. And if you're watching, you know who you are. You guys have that piece. And what do we have? Some beautiful tenuous. Check these out. Oh yeah. Awesome, all handpicked by yours truly. Tenuous, tenuous, tenuous. I don't know if the color's coming in right. Okay, check out this one. Monster piece. It actually broke. This was right there. Can you see the puzzle? Let me show you. It was, ta-da! Alan, are you watching? You broke my piece. Look, boom, fragged in the bag. But it still looks healthy. Uh, seeing all these pieces is giving me a little bit of an acro itch. I want to, um, set up an aqua dominated tank maybe a little reef castle one these are just some of the zoanthids we're trying to grow up because i am a zoa nut so we have some in here and here and lots of funky colors and because that's not enough i got another little zoanthid farm right over there bunch more growing out different condition i'm still trying out the reef flare pro light so far pretty good corals look good color is good i did lose a bird's nest under it but it's unrelated but i can talk about that in another video it's the reason why I have red cyano only here. Actually, we're here. Why don't I just talk to you about it now? Um, why do I have red cyano only here? Here, 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 and a little bit there. Because my dumbass has a refugium light underneath here. And I didn't realize at nighttime, because I'm stupid, it was shining red and it would make like a beam of light and it would only illuminate right here. This was all red. So I ended up with this lovely red cyano in like this strangest triangle sort of pattern from here to there. And I was here late one night and then figured it out. Anyways, that is a major, major, super duper sidetrack. These are cool, check these out. 
Okay, but I'm gonna do a walkthrough just on the Acro because there's so many and I wanna to talk to you about those uh, kind of in their own video. Okay, that's it. I think we're gonna wrap it up. There's a lot of goodies here. I'm gonna to start to work through it. You gotta be patient with us in terms of pricing because it takes time, but eventually it'll all go into its own little bunker here. Look at this logo. And then, oh man, this one too, hello. Look at this, play coral. And then we start to add them to the site. And then you can shop the site and we'll ship it right to your door if you live in Canada. Unfortunately, these are not leaving this country. Um, unless maybe, I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you wanna work wholesale, we might be able to work something out. We can try it, I've never done it. But there's a lot, a lot here. So if you have a store or if you have the means of importing 20, 30, 40 colonies, maybe we could talk. And if not, we can still talk. You can shoot us an email if there's anything you like in this video that you're interested in, maybe some of these zoas. Just do a screenshot and send it to fragboxcorals at gmail.com. We're gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button so you get notified when we do this probably tomorrow or the day after because we do videos here pretty often. Next one I think is gonna be the acro. And thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.